Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie and welcome to Allie Land. Okay, this is my introduction for the Level Up Project Pan. This is a project that is like three projects in one. It is basically pan those eyeshadows, pan in everything, pan in every palette. All of the eyeshadow themed project pans are kind of rolled into one. Um, this was created by Sophie Alexander. I will leave her all of her information linked down below as well as her original introduction up in the cards um, for her just explaining the project. It is a fun way to get use of your eyeshadows and I love her channel. She's one of my favorite panners to watch. Um, so yeah, I have put all of my eyeshadow palettes minus my ColourPop and my Pat McGrath palettes um, into a Tiny Decisions pretty random wheel based on what level I would be comfortable with panning. Um, my color popper in my color pan projects, pan um, which was created by Misty, and then my Pat McGrath palettes are in my hashtag that's expensive project which was also created by Misty. Um, I love Misty, she is great. But yes, so I am going to pull out my tablet. Hopefully it's not too reflective in the screen. Um, so I have all my level ones that I would be comfortable panning for one for level one in one wheel, level twos in one, so on and so forth. I'm going to be bringing in one palette for level one and one palette for level two. Every, every single time I have done this wheel, for every single time I have filmed, I have gotten for level one the Jeffree Star Alien palette. Every single time I have done this, that one has come up. I'm convinced the, the stars, the fates above are determined for me to pan that palette. Um, I'm gonna reset my wheel, completely fresh. I swear if I get that palette, I'm, just, I'm, so, I'm gonna be so angry. So angry because I keep getting that one. And I keep choosing the same shade. Maybe I should just work on it in general, but let's see what we get. Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic. At least it's not the Jeffree Star one. Hmm. But this is what the Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic looks like. This was a collab done years ago with Morphe. I am obsessed. I'll break the spine, I don't even care. I'm obsessed with these green tones. Um, they are some of my favorite shadows, uh, like color to wear on my brown eyes. And let's see, which shade do I want to pan? I'm really drawn to this trickery shade, but it's really hard panned. Like it's like pressed in there. This is like deep metallic green. Yep, that's the one I'm gonna do. That's the one I'm going to pan. Yep. So I'm going to pan Trickery, which is this deep metallic green. This is what it looks like. I have on shorts, and you all should see my legs are just covered in swatches. Level two, reset our wheel. Let's see what we get. The Natasha Denona Zendo. This is a newer palette to my collection. I have not used this yet. have not used this yet. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to be panning two shades out of this palette. I am really drawn to this breath shade. It is like a mint, like matte. It's not very pigmented. Okay, maybe not. Huh, that's fine. 
It is like a very light mint colored matte. Okay. And let's see. I'm also really drawn to this one's called breath that mint matte is called breath I'm also really drawn to this gold copper shimmer in the shade luster Ooh. looks like a pretty penny and that is what that shade looks like so this will be our first three shades we have trickery breath and luster um, I'm super excited. I definitely, definitely know that I can hit pan on these three. It just may take me some time. Um, I'm not, I, I don't think I've ever panned a Morphe eyeshadow. Maybe like one shade and it took me like 50 uses. Hopefully a shimmer metallic won't take me as long. And I've never panned a Natasha Denona palette eyeshadow, any of that. So hopefully we will see. Um, hopefully. Hopefully it does not take too long. But that is my color story, and I really, really enjoy it. I really like it. I think that I can get use out of those three shades. Maybe not all together. Maybe not all together. But I definitely can get use out of those three shades. Um, so, yeah, that is going to be it. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it if you did like today. Um, if you didn't, give me a thumbs down. That's fine, too. If you didn't like it, that's fine. I can do better. Um, I would hope you would consider subscribing and joining the Alleyland family, and I will see you guys next time.